All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. We have five six. We have five ten. Six foot. Six three. Everyone says I'm five two. Let's go, Word. You're looking great. Great job, Andre. Great job, Maddie. Hey, keep moving up. You're looking great, Eddie. Come on. Come on, Chris. Start moving up. You got. You know what to do. Let's go. Come on. Still to officially be old. Oh, it sucks. I'm, I'm gonna have to actually get sleep now. <laughs> Stop. Stop texting the ladies. Stop, the ladies. Oh, Stop going over to ladies' places. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, let's go. Let's go. We got 10K specials here. Spencer. Another 800 today. How'd you feel? I felt better than I did the last time. Hey, nice PR 201. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Take it. You know, you actually had a kick of a little bit of a 5K runner. I was like, okay. But, hey. Under two next time. Yes, sir. No bet. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. We have five six. We have five ten. Six foot. Six three. Everyone says I'm five two. Look at this. Oh, he's five he's six, five, ladies six, and gentlemen. Ladies. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's time for tip number two of Garrett's tips. So before I begin, I just also want to mention to everyone that's watching and taking into account these tips that these are based off my personal experiences and thing that, things that I've researched and read personally. And so they're not the answer to everything. That's why I encourage everyone to do their own research, find what works for them, find what doesn't. And so for tip number two, I have, don't be afraid to add cross training into your training, uh, I guess, calendars throughout the season. I think cross training is very beneficial to do, especially for people that have or athletes and runners that have very long training seasons like collegiate athletes even high school a little bit when they have to do cross country indoor outdoor and especially the younger athletes so why why do I say cross training is beneficial and I say this because our bodies get worn down we get tired things happen our legs need a little bit of rest sometimes we need that extra recovery so I say cross training finding a day like that is very beneficial to add into a training week that way your body can rest kind of avoid the pounding and overall really help prevent injuries a little bit and just give you the extra recovery you need so cross training is great to kind of simulate aerobic training but without the stressors of pounding and kind of what you would encounter while running and so that's why when we know or when i've normally done it or we've done it in the past um it's usually on a recovery day or like our slower runs a little bit so finding days like that if we feel that we would benefit more from doing cross training instead of going out there and running we would be open to do it now a lot of you are under under the direction of a coach or someone that's in charge of your training so if you feel that a day of cross training would benefit you make sure to discuss that with them just because i say it doesn't mean you should automatically just go out and do it discuss with them because it also depends on training i can choose that when i do it because i'm under my own training uh, training thing now so but under someone else's direction you need to talk with them and discuss that with them but overall these exercises are limited because the best way for you to improve is by running but the biggest thing just listen to your body and see what's going to benefit you especially in hard training weeks and that way you can maximize training and compete to the best of your ability each and every week all right so that is tip number two of Garrett's tips Back to the video.
Ah, uh, yes. Post workout smoothie. I Man, <laughs> goodness, I tell you what, I love tempo runs. So today on um, <clears throat> Monday, we had a tempo run, tempo workout, and it was a great workout. We all did really well. I love tempo runs so much, but the thing that makes you question it all is tempo tummy. Like, oh, uh, it's, it's something else. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Thank you so much for watching and staying tuned in. I will have more content coming up, especially this week, because I have some very exciting news coming up, but that I will announce in the next video. That way I have a little bit of uh, some uh, suspense to build up to. But until then, guys, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will catch you guys in the next upload, all right? All right, until then, Texas Myler, signing off. <laughs>